In these problems, we are given either the perimeter or the area of a rectangle and some relationship between its sides. And then we have to find either the, the area or the perimeter of the rectangle, whichever one we don't have yet. Let's look at this first one. It says the length of a rectangle is twice its width. This is a statement about the relationship between the sides. This is the piece we have to write an equation for. And when I try to translate from a sentence to an equation, I usually look for the word is or some form of to be. Here we've got is. This is going to be our equal sign. And on the left, it says the length of a rectangle. Well, that's just L. And on the right, it says twice its width. Well, twice something is two times. So this is two times the width. All right, we've got our equation uh, that relates the sides. That's going to help us a lot. It says the perimeter is 42, find its area. Well, we need to know what L and W are first uh, to find its area. So we're going to set up a formula for perimeter. That's the number we've got. So perimeter, remember, equals the length times the length plus the, sorry, the length plus the length plus the width plus the width. I'm going to write that as two lengths plus two widths. And for this one, the perimeter equals 42. For the for the two widths, I'm just going to leave it like that. But for the two lengths, we said length equals 2w. So I'm just going to put in 2w for length. So this expression 2 times 2w is the same as 2 times l above there. And then we have plus 2w to finish our perimeter. All right. Once we've got all that written out, we can start simplifying. 2 times 2w is 4w. So we have 42 equals 4w plus 2w. 4w plus 2w is 6w. And then to solve for w, what we need to do is divide by 6. So w equals 7. So we found the width. We've still got a little ways to go. The length, then, is going to be 2 times w. So the length is going to be 14. And finally, our area is going to be the length times the width, so 7 times 14. And that is 98. And when we have areas, then we have to make our units squared. So let's actually get our units right for all of this. These are inches. So the width is just plain old inches. The length is plain old inches. And the area is square inches. Let's try another one. At this time, we're being given the area, so we'll have to go in the other direction. But let's start again by writing an equation from this sentence about the relationship. It says the length of a rectangle is twice its width. That is exactly the same one. So I'm going to put the equal sign here. We've got length on the left. We've got 2w on the right. So that was easy. Now, the area is 98. So formula for the area of a triangle is just length times width. We want to create a, uh, something over here where it's all just in one variable. So we have 98 is the area. And instead of putting in L, I'm going to put in 2w. So instead of length times width, it's 2w times width, or w. And this we can solve for w. What we end up getting here is 2, and w times w is w squared, 2w squared. And here we have 98. So I'm going to get the w term alone by dividing by 2. And we're going to get 49 equals w squared. And now to solve for w, I would need to take the square root of both sides. And technically, when you take the square root here, you should get a positive or negative 7. The negative 7 doesn't make sense because we're finding a length. Uh, so we'll just take the positive value. So w equals 7, and this is feet. The length is 2 times w, so the length is going to be 14 feet. These numbers are looking pretty familiar. And finally, we can use this to calculate the perimeter. It's going to be 2 times, um, well, it's going to be 7 plus 7 plus 14 plus 14. But actually, you should see that these basically are the two, two of the same problems in a different direction. We found that the, um, and the units are different, they found that the area of this one was 98, um, and the relationship between the sides is the same. So the perimeter here 
you can add it up yourself, but it's going to be 42. So the perimeter here is 42 inches. Remember, perimeter just takes inches. Only area takes the inches squared. So that's a little bit of work with finding the perimeter or the area when you've got one or the other um, and a relationship between the sides.